Okay, so in this one, I'm going to add a new web remote for adding in my favorite effects onto tracks. So let's start off in Reaper. And I'm, I have the effects browser open and I'm in my favorites list. And I'm just gonna choose a few of these to create shortcuts for. It's great that we can do this all entirely with Reaper's native functions now. So the first one I want to add in is Sausage Fattener. And I'll just right click and choose Create Shortcut. And in this, we don't have to add any shortcuts or anything like that. We can just hit cancel. It will still assign it a command ID. And um, so this, in this shortcut column, you can see uh, if there is a shortcut assigned to it, this number is the same as um, in the action list. So if I open up the action list now, and uh, if I search for insert VST, we'll see this here. Because I'm doing several of these, I'll probably, again, do a toolbar. Uh, but you could always import um, just one of them using the command ID. Maybe we'll leave one off of the toolbar um, and just so you can see how you would add it manually. So uh, TR5 Black76, we'll add that. Create shortcut, hit cancel, bus compressor, create shortcut, and cancel, and the white 2A, uh, create shortcut, and cancel. Okay, so cancel this. And so I've got these actions here. I'm gonna click on Menu Editor, and I'm in a an empty toolbar. So I'm gonna remove that first one that says Edit Me. So I'll select the first one, hit Select, go to the next one, hit Select, go to the next one, hit Select, and the next one, hit Select. All right, and then I can hit Cancel to um, close the action list. So with this uh, here, I can import four actions at once into Reaper WRB to get our uh, web remote started. So hitting export, current menu toolbar to Reaper menu file. Remember to go to the right folder, which is menu sets. And I'm gonna call this um, insert effects. And I, I have one saved already, but we'll just replace that. All right, switching over to the web browser. We can add this as a, another tab inside of the mixer remote if we want, or into the, uh, the default remote as a new tab. Um, I'm just gonna make a new one starting from a, a toolbar here. So I'm on the first page, hitting toolbar, and that way it's not gonna make a, a blank tab to begin with. So insert effects isn't that one I just saved. Hit open, and we can go ahead and start editing this. Pick a color, I think I might actually want this to be add effects instead of insert effects. And we'll change the name. So this is the white 2A. And we've got bus comp, black 76, and sausage fattener. Okay. Um, we can always rearrange the order if we prefer like that. In bulk editing, we can select all of these, and give them a color, and a text color. And I think I'll probably do a plus. Yeah, and you know, let's go back to Reaper and let's grab another command ID. I'll hit add here just to open up the action list. Uh, but let's take uh, redelay. 24902. So I'll do a new action, click on item, and an action, and 24902. I think that was right. 24902. And we'll call this redelay. And it's the same color, black, and same. All right. So we've added in one manually as well as um, four automatically through the toolbar import. And hit connect just to make sure this is working. So uh, let's insert redelay. There we go. Box 76, white 2A, bus comp, and sausage fattener. I think I'm probably going to want a way to delete um, the effects chain. So I'm going to do that. So adding in a new row, adding in a new action. And in here, I'm going to search 
maybe I'll search for FX and um, actually this is a good one here toggle effects bypass for current or last touched tracks yeah that's a good one for that so label toggle effects bypass okay and let's see if that's working track selected that works great all right so we're going to hit save and we'll call this um add effects and saving with the database option replacing the webremote.js file and I'll switch over to my tablet. I'm going to reload the main page. I can see an add effects toolbar there. And let's get my main screen over to Reaper. I'm just going to set this up by removing all the effects, and we'll get it running from the tablet. So adding in redelay. Black 76, white 2A, bus comp, sausage fattener, and toggling the bypass. Yeah, so that's working great. And um, as you can see, that's something that's pretty powerful that will apply to any of the selected tracks. So actually, if I have uh, two tracks selected and I hit white 2A, that's going to apply to both of those tracks. So you can see tracks two and three have white 2A assigned. I can bypass both of those at the same time. Pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, going further with this, you would probably want to have a way to uh, close all of the floating effects windows or effects chains. And maybe you want to float the effects for the selected track, um, deleting the effects chain. Um, you know, Maybe copy and paste on this page would be great as well. But I want to show you the Reaper function to create a command ID for any selected effects. And the same thing works with effects chains that you have saved and how to save that to a web remote.